The Mortar Monkey got a brand new upgrade called Dynamic Targeting. This allows the mortar to aim itself at the single strongest balloon or the densest cluster of balloons. There is also a brand new hero showcase in the shop called the Cat's Meow for the next eight days. With this, you can grab this perfect <laughs> avatar and banner collection and get enough monkey money and azilly points to unlock Smudge Cat Azilly instantly. And you already know I had to cop it because look at that avatar. Looks familiar. And the profile banner looks absolutely sick. But make sure to use code Boltrix before buying it. And we're going to be showcasing this brand new upgrade right here, right now. And we got my man Biker Bones as our hero. Of course, our opponent's using Etienne. How freaking original. Dude, everybody uses Etienne. Okay, I'm not going to crash out. I'm not going to complain. But we're rocking with this strategy right here. Am I cooking? Let me know down in the comments below. But let's go ahead and start off immediately with a druid right about here. I also would like to go for the hard thorn. Set you to last as well. And we might not be able to go for a round one biker bones. But it's honestly not the end of the world. And you might be asking yourself, well, Boltrix, why do you even have biker bones as your hero to begin with? And that is a fantastic question, little Timmy. The reason being is because biker bones is going to be able to directly buff all of our mortars, which during the later game rounds, we're heavily going to focus on going for a crap ton of mortars across the entire map. But where should I have biker? It's truly the question of all time. I'm thinking more over here, which is kind of weird. I know, but I don't want it to take up like a prime druid spot. Sorry, biker bones, but that is in fact the case. Okay, so I do still need to go for the bottom path upgrades in order to start getting an increase of attack speed uh, for this druid here. Okay, so we're down to what? Oh my, 104? To get a full 100% increase of attack speed, this is going to be so hard here. But I'm going to try my best, okay? Let me also send some space yellows, maybe just to get our opponent to leak. Okay, never mind. He did go for the wall of fire, so he's going to be absolutely fine now. We're just going to hope and pray that the life advantage won't matter. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, I could always, always, always reach out my lives, brother. I don't even care about the increase of attack speed either. Like, yes, I would like to have it, but since we're going to be focusing on the mortar, I don't think... Okay, wait. Okay, we're good. We're, we're, we're good. Oh, how are we down to 10? Since when? Okay. Down to 9? Okay, I, I somehow leaked another life. But you know what? At the end of the day, a defend is a defend. They call me the low life warrior on these streets, okay? Ask anybody walking these streets. They'll, they'll tell you, okay? I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Group greens here, though, on round five. Of course, we kind of are using a pure eco strategy. Of course, we do have some sorts of alt eco. Really, only actually one sort, which is the middle path druid upgrades. But we're going to be prioritizing our eco game, especially during these earlier game rounds. Can we hit that 500 eco mark before the start of round six? We did, in fact, okay? So that's usually pretty good pace, okay? Into space blacks here, though, on round six. And I might just have to go for... Uh, the Druid of Wrath here in order to fully, fully defend against all these space blocks because I cannot afford to leak any lives here, guys. So let's see how well we do here. We could always use our level 3 ability as well. But I just want to send him a lot of grouped yellows, of course, here. Oh my god, I'm going to have to. Yeah, I mean, look look at the balloons. I'm about to leak another life here. What the heck, Druid? You were supposed to clean that up for me. Yeah, he's going to be sending us grouped yellows, okay? So let's just set that to last. And again, send as many grouped yellows as I can here. He does not currently have the ability... Uh, to pop purples all that well and he just used all uh, that level three ability oh my goodness what's happening dude his wall of fire wizard is absolutely selling him here oh and he's not gonna be liking these space purples have fun with those bro have fun with those now don't die because that's not the goal but just have fun super i mean hey that's one way to pop him down i can't lie but a super monkey on round eight is kind of crazy and he tower boosted still we, oh, he's leaking lives, but on our screen, we don't even see anything happening. Oh, that's too funny. Okay, so now we can finally start working towards a mortar, which, by the way, Biker Bones has global range in regards to, like, buffing other mortars. So we can go for that all the way up here. Look at the nickname. <laughs> hey, maybe after this new upgrade, the dynamic targeting costing $400. It's finally going to be good. Allows the mortar to aim itself at the single strongest balloon or the densest cluster of balloons. Sounds pretty enticing. So let's go ahead and start working towards that. Um, I guess then we're just going to leave it to set target, correct? Oh, wait. Dense? Strong? Whoa, that's cool. Okay, so you actually have to, like, change the actual targeting of it. Of course, follow mouse should still be technically the best. Oh, shoot. That is a camel balloon. Okay, wait. Put you to dense or strong? Will it actually target that? Oh, it did. It's targeted the camel green because that was the strongest balloon on the map. That's so cool. Okay, so we still should watch out probably a little bit here. 
Oh, shoot. Okay, I was not ready. And I just had that on set target. Okay, I... Wait! Oh, it's because I don't have the bottom path upgrades. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, well, I guess we're, we're just going to be rocking with this for now. Because I don't feel like reselling it to replace it. Because I'm going to lose out on a lot of money if I do do that. But, a defend as a defend. We are down to one tower boost now, though. That's the uh, kind of scary thing here. So, I think we should probably start working towards a spike factory. Uh, more towards the back of the map. I could literally just have it all the way in the back of the map. I think that should be fine. So, yeah. We'll have this be our eventual perma spike. Oh, he has the alchemist. Okay, so he definitely wants to go late game and he cannot regen his lives. So, guys, I'm going to regen my lives. I don't care, bro. We're going to be going epic, epic late game with using the mortar, having biker bones as well. And all we need to do is just focus on popping off fortified BAD lairs. And then we're going to be absolutely golden. Okay, but in regards to like what mortars we spam, this is so cool, by the way. Like this mortar is just moving on its own. In regards to what mortars we should spam, we got to make sure that whatever we go for, we cross path every single one with the bottom path. And I don't know, like I'll probably just have it on the strongest setting. Cluster does sound pretty good. Uh, currently, it's on strong. Cluster sounds pretty good or dense. I'm sorry uh, for the mid game rounds, but I'm thinking for the later game rounds strongest is going to be the best play okay but it is now round 17 looks like he has no signs of rushing us whatsoever i didn't even cross path this yet but uh yeah i can actually leave this on normal for now just in case if uh ai balloons happen to push quite a bit over on our side but no signs of a rush from the young man i definitely could send him something like a singular fortified mob on round 19 since it's fast cooldown uh because at tn of course he can see like what balloons we're currently sending so if we send it on round 19, it'll kind of catch him off a little bit more. Off guard is what I meant. Uh, because, of course, it's fast cooldown. I don't know, man. I'm yabbing. But there we go with that. Beautiful. Okay. Went for a super. Immediately. No hesitation there. Level 3 as well. Okay. So, he should be fine against that. I'm not going to balloon boost. I don't want him to die. That's not the goal. He actually went for the knockback on that. Which I find very, very interesting. But, hey. A defend is a defend. Fair play. Well done. I guess we could incorporate... Uh, going for some druid farms while simultaneously ecoing. So yeah, I'm going to probably then have uh, my druid farm. Or oh, wait, this could be my eventual avatar of wrath. Because like, bro, I'm going to have to regen my lives. I can already see this coming from a mile away, bro. Like this guy is probably not going to rush us. Oh, what if I be a B though? Okay, so let's go ahead then and go with the mortar here. How about that? So I'm going to cross path you with the middle path or the bottom path. I'm sorry. And then I'll go for the heavy shells. I'll put you to strong. Yes, sir, Ski! Come on, border! I'm not doing well. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need the artillery battery. Ooh, that's a lot of region rainbows. I think we're okay against that, though. No? Could always use my level 3 ability. Look at that. Mortars are OP. Mortars are freaking OP, brother. But, uh, I'm gonna have to sell you. Definitely. Okay, so, so I can sell this. Like that. Boom. Got it. Let's go ahead and use that. Come on. Come on, artillery battery. You got it. You've got it. What? Oh, it didn't even... What? What? Why did level 3 not stun the Moabs? It's because the level 3 concussive shot now aims at the densest area, not the strongest balloon. Are you kidding me? How is that not the cluster of spots? What? Alright, I don't know what that last game was, bro. The mortar failed me, but hey. We all lose, so I'm okay with showing that, bro. And this guy, he's using farm in this map when this is not a farm map at freaking all. You can only actually place down three farms in total. And Agent Jericho and this ninja down here taking up a farm spot. So he can actually only go for two farms on this entire map, which is actually insane. Okay, he's going to steal our cash here. So let's use up all of the moolah that we can so that he steals absolutely nothing. Beautiful. And our overall money game is not going to be the greatest this time around, but... I do know that he is going to go for an IMF loan rush on us. I can already see it coming from a mile away. So with that being said, I don't know. Do we try to defend then with having the mortar? I guess we can. I do have this one set to target, by the way. I never even crossed at this either. Look, that Campbell Purple got through. We do have the spike factor in the back of the map. So like, we're okay, kind of. Let's go ahead and go with the long life spikes on this. Round 17 is here. I'm probably honestly going to stop ecoing. Okay. Gonna send us that. Absolutely fine. 
Okay. Go ahead and tower boost that. That was a humongous rush. Humongous, brother. But we're good. A defend is a defend. Oh, use up all of our cash. Okay, actually go for these. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He's gonna send us another rush here, obviously. Okay. Just gonna do a little bit better this time around. Okay, he's gonna do all that. We're not really rocking with that. Okay, we're good against all the insides. I think we should be fine here, believe it or not. Believe it or freaking not. Come on, Spike Thatcher, you gotta clutch up for me in the back of the map. It's gotta clutch up. Okay, he went for- what? No way he went for that. No way he went for that. I'll send him like two. He's gonna have to go for a sticky. Yep, he went for the sticky. Okay, fair play, well done. He's been kind of greedy. I can't believe he sold the bank for the, the BRF there. I find that to be crazy. He's gonna be careful though. He's gonna be good. Okay, so fair play, well done. I guess we're gonna continue on eco in here then. <laughs> what? That, that was the plot twist of the century. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's go ahead and go with the deadly spikes then. Which was the back of the map. Round 20 is here. Um, I, I can't even use up my money, bro. I can't even. I'll try. Okay. Use it up a little bit. This blue adjustment is going crazy, though. My goodness. I mean, like, we're fine here. Don't get me wrong, but holy crap. Oh, my gosh. Sheesh. Yeah, that was crazy. Okay, he's going to send us a BFB. So, this time around, I'm going to see... Oh, no. I thought he really was going to send us one. Okay, he's going to send us a ZOMG. I kind of wanted to see, like, this cross path instead against that. But, uh, yeah. ZOMG here. Fortified ZOMG as well. So, let's just stop equaling, actually, then. Um, because I am a little nervous. <laughs> I have no idea. How do I go about defending against this, guys? Literally, I don't, I don't know. I guess spike storming sounds pretty ideal. You can also have... No, no, no. I don't need that for insides. Okay, so yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Still in our cash as well. Probably going to send us um, some tight leads here. Yep. Should be fine against all of those. Are we? Sort of. We're good. Okay, I gotta, I gotta show. I gotta show. I gotta show. So, what do I do? What do I do here? Um, definitely should go with this. Just put you on follow mouse. Okay. Okay. Come on. Not even close. Wasn't even scared. Wasn't even scared. Okay, so this, see, look. I went for the, the top cross path on that. That seemed to do significantly better. I didn't want to even risk it for the biscuit this time around. So, that's why I ended up doing that. Uh, but it is about to be round 25 here. Now I feel like we have super, super solid defense. He's going to go ahead and do that, though. Honestly, I think we're fine against that even. Okay. Gotta watch out for on the insides, of course. Look at the... The mortars are crazy. Okay. We're still not defending, though. <laughs> oh! My spike pop. Oh! <gasps> I leaked a life! I leaked a life there! Oh. My. Goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. A defend is a defend, though. A freaking defend is a defend, though! Come on, now! And we got the Spike uh, spike Storm for round 26 DDTs. We are all over the place with this game. But hey, his overall eco game, money game in general, is terrible. Because he does not still have a tier 5 farm uh, over on his side. So, I guess that is good. Bro, I'm not even showcasing, like, the bottom path upgrades. But, like, what am I supposed to do, bro? I don't know, man. That's the thing. I guess I could go for the shattering shells. But like, dude, I'm still so scared, bro. I have no idea what I want to do. I feel like I should go for a perma spike, though. Yeah, having the perma spike for DDTs and stuff. And just like the last line of defense is going to be super nice. Because I'm thinking this game is going to end on round 30. So I'm going to just stop ecoing here at 4200 eco. 
I know. It's incredibly low. But hey, desperate times call for desperate mayor. So let's go ahead and just use that ability. Beautiful. Karma spike. He is like going for more defense. Oh, you're joking. I got to make him sell that. I got to make him sell that right now. How, how can I make him sell that? I don't know, man. I don't I don't want to like deplete my eco, you know what I'm saying? The fact that he got that, I gotta respect that. I, I've gotta respect that, bro. But that's all he can go for. That's all he can go for. Okay, so and we got a tower boost. Okay, that's a that's a well worth a rush. That is a well worth a rush then. Um how eco then a little bit harder? Oh my gosh, look at all that. He's gotta be really, really be careful there. A lot of mobs. Okay, balloon boost. Okay. Yeah, he died. Yep. I mean, that's what you get for using farm on that map, bro. Oh my goodness, though. Top 25 player, by the way. Come on now, with the mortar. Put some respect on Boltus's name. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, what do I do for that, then? Um, let's go for this, first of all. Because that's a lot. That's a lot of just stuff. Um, oh, wait. We're gonna be fine then. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh my gosh. We just leaked, but we're good. We're good. Oh my gosh! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Come on now! Oh my goodness. I, I, I didn't even showcase the mortar, really. I mean, I went for a couple. I'm telling you guys, the bottom cross path would not have been the play there. I think the bottom cross path, that dynamic targeting upgrade, is going to be beneficial for, like, mid-game rushes and mid-game scenarios and stuff. Or if, like, you're a newer player to the game, or you don't really commonly use the mortar, because I feel like the mortar is kind of, like, a more difficult tower to use. Because, like, look, this bomb right here, I set it down, and it's doing its job. It's popping the balloons without me having to do really anything, right? I just need a grand cam detection, and from there, we're good. Whereas the mortar, bro... You've got to make sure that you are constantly targeting it if you have it on follow mouse, which you should have it on follow mouse. And literally just because of solely that, it is a more difficult to use tower because you have to put in more work for it to be effective. So that's why with the new dynamic targeting upgrade, it'll do the job for you as if it were a bomb or any tower that you can just set down and it just pops the balloons and does its thing, you know? So again, I feel like during the mid game rounds, it's going to be beneficial, but you guys saw the difference in us defending against that Fortified BFB versus that Fortified ZOMG in the second game. The Fortified BFB, we actually didn't even defend against. That's the crazy thing. Oh my gosh, this guy's really not giving up, by the way. <laughs> but he is finally going to end up going down there. That was a sick freaking defend if I've seen one. I'm telling you guys, again, with those artillery batteries that we went for, if we went with the bottom cross path, we would have died. I don't know why he's telling on me, but... I literally won, but we would have died, bro. So again, that is my explanation, thought process, and everything. You guys know what time it is, okay? I can send myself over five hundred thousand dollars worth of fortified BEDs. So let's get to doing just that, right? And we have only bottom path wizards. Let's go ahead, and tower boost. Use all of these abilities, homeland, and all of the artillery batteries with the bottom cross path. And by the way, you get that additional increase of BAD damage on all the artillery batteries. But most of these are set to strong, by the way. Some, however, are set to dense. Okay, but I thought that the strongest uh, targeting would be a little bit better. Let's go ahead. Use another homeland there. It's a lot of fortified BEDs. And look, they're all doing their job. But think about it, guys. Like, once the ZOMGs... Yeah, look. ZOMGs get... Or get spotted out of the ZOMGs. These are not going to be targeting this, those ZOMGs, you know? But I do have the balloon crush, so, like, we should be okay. No way we fully defend this. No shot. I can tower boost again. Yeah, tower boost. Micro this. I could have went for even more of these mortars as well. Okay. So, hey, we still defended. Yeah, because this ability is about to come back. I also had some bombs help, too, of course. 
and I have a level 20 Biker Bones. But yeah, hey, a defend is a defend, and then the Balloon Incineration can defortify all the ZLMGs and whatnot underneath. All right, so maybe I got to put a little bit more respect on its name. Wait, this is kind of crazy. So the Balloon Incineration had more pops than the actual popping off. I find that interesting. I should have maybe went for a couple of top hats, but hey, that is the new dynamic targeting upgrade. Uh, and the Mortar Monkey did not disappoint during these later game rounds. Again, you get that increase of BAD damage on all artillery batteries. So definitely is your best bet to spam the heck out of those. But as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where the Crossbow Master is S tier now. Seriously, you don't want to miss this one.